chapter 2, Mishnah 5. If someone betrothes a woman on condition that she is not under, i.e. restricted by vows, and it is then found that she is in fact under vows that most husbands would find objectionable, she is not betrothed. Since the condition was not met, the, condi the condition is not valid. She is therefore free to marry another man, even without receiving a get, bill of divorce. The Mishnah contrast this with an ordinary case of marriage, where the husband made no such concession condition. If he married her without making this condition, and it was then found that she is under vows that most husbands would object to, she can be divorced without receiving her kasuba, but she must receive a get. The husband has the right to divorce her and not pay her kasuba because he could claim that he never wanted to marry a woman who is restricted by vows, even though he did not say so at the time. On the other hand, a get is needed because it is possible that, at the time of the marriage, he had no objection to a wife with vows, and he is changing his mind now. Therefore, the marriage might be valid, and she may not marry again unless she receives a get. A similar case. If someone betrothes a woman on the condition that she does not have any physical defects, and it was then found that she does have defects, she is not betrothed at all, and no get is required. However, if he married her without making this condition, and it was found that she had defects, she can be divorced without receiving a kasuba, but she may not remarry until she receives a get. The Mishnah states which type of defects can make a marriage invalid. All the physical defects that disqualify Kohanim from serving in the temple disqualify women with regard to marriage, as described above.